Welcome back. Um, right, I did a couple of things behind the scenes because this is going on too long. This is like the third video of the chicken coop. So um, what I've done is, one sec. When I was trying to felt this uh, door, I just found that the wood was too brittle. And when I was putting the nails in, it was just snapping and everything. So I had to make a new door. So that's the beginnings is of it. Um, so it's just some scrap wood that I had lying around. Battened it together. So that's the door there. Um, what else am I doing? Oh yeah. I'm in the middle of working on a replacement door for the front here because that's the original door. It's all just all warped and old. So just making a new door for that. So I got started on that. And I got these. I got these bits of pallet. Pallet? Bits of pallet? The pallet boards. Because <laughs> um, I'm going to be using them for. One second. I'm going to be using them for the gable ends there. Like that. I think that'll be cool. Alright, so. I think it's time to get started. Right, I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I'm gonna do it, because it seems right. So I'm gonna tuck this flap in here, under there. Like that. I think that... will be pretty sweet. There we go. Yeah, so now any water will just run off there. I think that's the plan. Let's sit there perfect. Look at that. Look at that, that looks so good. Right. The drill bit broke on this. <laughs> but I have a redundancy, I have one of these as well. Always have redundancies. Right. Let's see, is that right? Right, so I've got to do the door now. What I'm going to do is use this jack to level it out because it wasn't level before, which made it difficult to open and close. So let's lock that in place. Get the jack in there. position it however I want. Now if I want it like that, like that, yeah. That looks good. That's 
feeling a lot better than it was before. Still have to do a little bit of a interesting. I think I'm gonna put another one of these here just because yeah. I think a pine martin could probably get into that. So I'm gonna put another one of these on that. Right, here's the new door. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just need to fit the chain on so I can hook it up here and get it open. Very cool. Right. I'm gonna give this a paint and and while that's drying, whoop, while that's drying, we're gonna fit the trim here on the gables. All right, so I'm just gonna get one of my pallet boards here, line it up so I can get my angle I need to cut of that. I do have a plumb bob, which is probably the best thing to do, but I'm just going to eyeball it. And there you go. Number four there, that's my angle. I don't know what the degrees are. I don't need to. Um, but that is the mark. Uh, so I'll just get a chisel, draw a line, done. And uh, another thing to note. When you're making stuff. When you're making stuff, let me move you over here for a second. So when you're making things, doors, windows, whatever it is, you don't wanna make everything completely flush like this. Cause you're never gonna get everything lined up correctly. And then, especially like if you're making something like this, this might settle over time and things might twist or whatever. So the best thing to do is, push it a little bit out and a little bit up on purpose right and if you look at if you look at your doorways well if you look at your doorways now you'll see I can't remember what these these are called crenulations I don't know I don't know what they're called but it is actually more aesthetically pleasing to be off than to be absolutely in line actually I'll show you in the mobile what I'm talking about hang on Ignore the mess here, but this is an example of let me, can I brighten that up for you? Of cheap work, right? Everything there, there's an attempt to make everything flush. But if you just let's say got that shelf and inset that in a little bit, pull this out, or maybe pull that out, have some lips, and um, it would look a lot more beautiful than than this. Like, see that board there? That board would look much nicer if that was set in about a half inch. Uh, so that's the kind of thing like there like that's fine, you know, that's sticking out that looks good But if that was if there was an attempt hang on, let me focus that again if there was an attempt to make this flush It would just look so bad Um. Yeah, there's a little bit there see that looks a lot better than if it was Corner to corner edge to edge and stuff and not all edges are a hundred percent straight So it's a little trick to hide that Just a little note Right, so I've got my one done. Go a little bit outside the line, not on the line. Because you have to account for the width of the saw. Donezo. And now I can just get, see that one broke? So I'm just gonna use this one here as the template for the next one. Uh -huh. And when you're doing this, um, always use the same uh, piece to measure all the other pieces. Otherwise you get that, you know when you have a key and you're Make a copy of a copy of a copy and things go off over time. So you want to make sure if you're doing this kind of thing, always have one uh, master board or whatever. 
Now I've got my, whoop, that's backwards. There you go, look at that. I think that's all looks really good. Ooh. Right, let's fix them on. Right, so I'm just gonna get them in position. Somewhere. That look good. Right. These are really handy. If you ever need three hands. Fix that there. I should be able to put this on there. There we go. Now. Here are the gables done. Um, now, I just said, <laughs> don't try and get things flush. You can see here that edge is out because these boards are twisted, they're old and worn. But there is a solution to this. And the solution to fix this is one of these. And that will hide the ugliness. So I'll just have this uh, door hinge, which I'm going to use to fix the ramp in. Now that's it for the hen house, it's completely done. We got the new blocks on, we got the paint job, new door. I have this ramp that can come up like that. We hook it over on top on that trim that we put on. We have the new felt, new door here to get in at the eggs. Oh yeah, we've got the lino floor as well. I think that's a nice touch. But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to getting the hens this time. And uh, I'm sure that it's gonna be successful. Well, we'll, we'll see, but uh, thanks to all of the donators who helped get that. You can see the electric fence there behind me and the energizer to power it. Um, now this this is actually the same net that uh, Richard Perkins uses and he's what was it, like 10 20 years he's been keeping his hens like that out in the open with these nets and he's never lost a chicken to a, to a predator so I have high hopes that it's gonna work out unless the hens fly out on their own and there's uh, not much I can do about that I can clip their wings I don't know we'll see how that goes I'm not gonna uh, don't want to jinx myself, but yeah, yeah, this feels good. And can you believe that this was left to rot? <laughs> it was all green and grey when I first got it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.